the simulation is the exact simulation of the whale's dynamics in fact the type of articulated body here seen is simulated wholly no approximations so that this articulated body has 14 degrees of freedom this is because this main central body has six degrees of freedom to which four wheels add four other bodies each of which are two more degrees of freedom because one can slide along this line each can each center can slide along this line let's see uh, it working because there is the amortizer so we can show it do you see that it and besides that it can have an angle this angle here instead if you look at it this way uh, let me try to find a better point of view this way it's a user defined it's uh, not an additional degree of freedom and uh, this simulation is not worse neither does it perform worse than uh, one that uh, would be done with uh, uh, rigid bodies plus constraint forces approach like uh, the one one could do with a simulation library such as ODA or uh, others this is uh, fully Lagrangian dynamics which uh, is proposed here in a fashion that I worked out uh, in order that uh, it has no critical points uh, no, no critical configurations and uh, it doesn't uh, abuse uh, the sinus and cosinus functions which are slow and it does well even if this situation wouldn't be wouldn't belong itself to the area of excellence of this method because there are a little bit many degrees of freedom uh, but not too many composing elements so okay but uh, I just wanted to show that yes this method can be used for general purpose simulations and of course it maintains its absolute excellence uh, in those cases where there are few degrees of freedom but many many elements such as imagine as if here for example there was a whole engine with all the pistons four pistons and of course eight sustaining braces moving in it it wouldn't add any more degree of freedom but it would add lots more more elements and adding more elements doesn't really force this method to make more uh, many more calculations and that's interesting and of course the most important thing is that the source code of this simulator is uh, much shorter than uh, the source code of a simulator based on rigid bodies and constraint forces and therefore some interesting uh, possibilities open up uh, also for didactical purposes it's nice to it's nice to see a simulator that is done with a completely different method but which is uh, maybe easier a little bit to imagine because this could have been also an animation in which case the use of generalized coordinates is a widespread practice and a completely uh, an approach which comes spontaneous for simul well here it's uh, thanks to the Lagrangian dynamics uh, it's uh, a direct passage it's just doing simulation instead of animation animating 
but in a way that it uh, satisfies the loss of classical mechanics and no constraint forces, no uh, moment of inertia tensors, no centers of mass because the Lagrangian dynamics does this uh, uh, in a different way and uh, that's all now of course this is not the place to go into detail let's just play a little bit around but before it's important to mention of course the model of the wheels contact with the ground which is elastic also in real life could be improved a lot further um, in an easy way for now i did a very simple model the wheel is assumed to touch in this point which is at a distance a fixed distance from the center of the wheel and the direction on which this distance is measured from here is along this line this uh, line this uh, the vertical axis of the this main body let's say it uh, taking for granted the conventions okay let's make the amortizers a bit harder let's see of course the method uh, i see that uh, it can be interesting from a didactical point of view i said this because uh, one must say that this this method is much more self-consistent than the other method and uh, there isn't that problem that this is not a sum of bodies uh, but it's one system since here only those so-called holonomic constraints are present which are of course by far the more the most typical constraints we don't find many kinds of non holonomic constraints in any mechanism at all uh, so this is self consistence and uh, and so on this can maybe it's a little difficult for me now to say it with words but um, this system in itself by definition cannot go outside its uh, configuration so there isn't that problem that there is with the other method that uh, if the constraint force is not perfectly rightly calculated uh, then the body like starts to start start to come apart and uh, then some corrections are needed here this uh, problem does not exist of course um, a motorsport game is at a completely different level of uh, quality when uh, the wheels dynamics is simulated exactly that's uh, Partly the fact that uh, contributed to raise my attention towards the use of this method was not just because uh, it just struck my aesthetic sense for the fact that an articulated body is one. It's one system, it's not a sum of bodies kept together by constraint forces. But by the fact that uh, even like in 2004 or so, there were good there were good rally games such as I remember Master Rally was, was good, it looked good, it had atmosphere, everything. But the wheels dynamics was just too much fictitious. Even if already at the time a normal person or computer could have hold could have performed in real time a simulation of a, a dynamical system like this, even with the other method. And here there is this exact simulation of the wheels dynamics and this is important. Uh, I would have liked uh, to provide also an internal view shot but now I didn't yet put that into this test uh, simulator. Uh, so try to appreciate just this here of course it can jump, it can do everything 
just as any simulator of this kind done with the other method rigid bodies plus constraint forces and uh, well high speeds can be reached and so on with uh, of course I know that the exact simulation of the wheels dynamics is mostly important in those uh, cases when a vehicle must be simulated with very high suspensions and possibly big wheels in these cases uh, however it's difficult to steer without turning upside down and uh, steering fast and so on so it's also difficult to do a, a fast run show with this program here but this one should uh, put a vehicle which is more stable in the turnings but at the same time has high suspension and big wheels uh, of course I, I'm not a, a, a strong video game player so I even can't uh, exploit fully the simulator that I made myself so I turn upside down every five seconds but uh, I think that I hope I was able to communicate what I wanted to say and that this time the, also the graphical appearance of the simulator was just was acceptable without of course pretending to go too far this is advanced story in rendering but of course I didn't uh, I haven't been spending any much time on drawing the textures in order to make a beautiful environment or just do the trees better but of course this is uh, advanced story in rendering it, it's not at all worse than the rendering in any uh, any serious game engine